Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for June 24th, 2020. So yesterday was kind of an interesting day where the NASDAQ, the QQQ, made new record highs with those tech sector stocks continuing to do the majority of lifting in the market. But what's happening this morning? Do we have a change after leaving behind a little bit of a bearish type pattern here on the NASDAQ? Well, how about we settle in, buckle up, and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the morning market prep video. So this morning, we have kind of a, a bearish picture starting to form here in the futures market as futures are starting to turn lower. So what happened overnight? Well, we had some news reports about uh, COVID related numbers and White House advisor coming out, um, leaving the suggestion that if these trends continue, uh, there may, it may require a full shutdown of some of the states that are seeing uh, these massive increases in virus infections and hospitalizations. But what do we show in the technicals of the chart? Well, yesterday, if you guys remember, I mentioned the fact that we are still trending. We're holding up in these nice little trends in the market, and that trend continues to hold, but we seem to be in a little bit of a struggle here as we fight a bit of a downtrend here as well in this kind of a real real choppy consolidating mode. Yesterday I was looking right in here at that possibility that that big Friday bearish engulfing candle could have the possibility of the bulls pushing it through the upside and breaking that level. But by the end of the day, it proved that the buyers were not following through even after the morning gap up to push that through that bearish engulfing candle. If we take a look at our moving averages here um, on the Dow, if we take a look at that, that daily, we once again struggled to break that 200 day moving average and um, not looking all that confident here at the moment at, at that uh, chart. Now this morning, we are looking at a bit of a gap down. So we're gapping down and we're gapping down, uh, filling that uh, that opening that we created yesterday. So it's just one of those things that we've been seeing in the market. Every day is some kind of a gap. Every day is some kind of overnight market manipulation in the market, making it very, very difficult to hold anything overnight and really trying to encourage everyone to just day trade, I guess. But we're looking at a pretty volatile, um, price action in the chart. So as we gap down this morning, if those sellers pick up, let's note that if we hold within the low of that candle, we could be in pretty good shape. But let's keep in mind that a push down, well, let's just go from yesterday's close down to that low. It, that is a 460 point move in the Dow. So it could be a rather painful move even to test that low down there. So just keep that in mind. Can't say that that's what's going to happen. I certainly wouldn't want to predict that. But what I what I do see here in the chart is an overall kind of tiring of the market. We're a little bit worn out. We may need a bit more rest. And this pullback this morning could lead to some profit taking. We'll want to watch that closely. Now, one thing that can kind of throw go into the face of that and, and throw this off is the end of quarter. End of quarter, we often get um, what they call window dressing is institutions, 401ks, not 401ks, but um, um, company retirement plans and things like that um, push money toward the market as, as people continue to contribute. So there could be a little bit of that element where we get that back and forth here in the market. 
but we can also see some substantial rebalancing going on and that may be creating part of this volatility and that rebalancing after we've had a historic rally um, in the market we could see a little bit of a rotation beginning to occur into more of a safety play or an income play so we'll want to watch that pretty closely and I'll tell you why I, I see that as a possibility here in just, just a moment. So right now, Dow continues to remain in its trend. I don't want to give anybody the impression that we're not still trending. But we are starting to show um, a few signs of concern here that profit taking could begin at any time. So let's watch that close. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. Although it remained above its 200-day moving average, it and tried really hard. We tried right at the open to break through that Friday bearish engulfing candle, but at the end of the day, was not able to hold that. There just wasn't enough follow-through buying going on um, in the market to push us through. And now this morning, we are gapping down to fill this open gap and um, again we have lows down here that could provide us support but that would be a pretty painful sell-off to get there so let's watch that carefully today um, we are still trending overall in the market we're still holding above our 200 day and 50 day moving averages there is certainly that possibility that we could receive a test of those in the days looking forward we'll have to watch that and once again, just a reminder of in the quarter can sometimes be a little bit wild and volatile. So kind of keep an eye on that. We, we do have a very light day on the earnings calendar and economic calendar. And what that's going to do possibly is make us more sensitive to these news reports, such as the one on CNBC that says in the last seven days, coronavirus cases have surged 30%. Obviously, kind of a concerning thing and we had the White House advisor come out and suggest uh, last night that if this trend continues it may require full state shutdowns um, to combat uh, the virus so kind of a um, well a great big uncomfortable uncertainty um, out there that we still face on that virus front so watch these markets carefully if they begin to see that profit taking coming in let's take a look at the nasdaq now the nasdaq um, notched another all-time high record and we have a little bit of a issue here this morning um, yesterday they were not able to hold on to that leaving behind what um, is considered a shooting star pattern. Now, what's interesting about the shooting star pattern, we saw one right over here, a shooting star type pattern, where we left, we gapped up to that window and leave left that window behind, and then we gapped down the next day and saw that sell off. Well, this morning, we're looking at a candle where we gapped up to that shooting star, and we are looking at a bit of a gap down, a much smaller gap down this morning um, in this move. However, if we do see some profit taking come in, um, if that creates a kind of a bearish, could create kind of a bearish pattern up there, we'll want to keep an eye on that as that possible profit taking come in, comes in. Now, this was largely led by just the big techs. Um, Apple, Amazon, Google, Facebook, um, um, those, um, Microsoft, those are the stocks that largely lifted the index yesterday. There wasn't a whole lot of contribution from other stocks yesterday. So just keep that in mind that those big tech stocks, if we finally, if we do see some profit taking, it could be a little bit of a painful sell off um, since we've been lifted mostly by those big tech stocks. Let's take a look at um, IWM. Now IWM um, also struggled with that Friday bearish engulfing, not quite bearish engulfing candle here on um, IWM, but we struggled with that and we were just unable to break through the high of that candle. So a little bit of concern there, still below its 50 day moving average. And here we've had that, that failure of the 500 
and then a rally to the 200 and we're still holding that failure of the 200 not not exactly a wonderful technical pattern here in the chart now one thing i got to tell you guys is i may have a little bit of bias on this because i am actually holding a short position in iwm expecting some kind of a pullback so um, i could be you know um, displaying a little bit of, of bias on this but just keep in mind that's not exactly the technical pattern that should be giving us a big warm and fuzzy um, in the market let's watch that close just in case those sellers do decide to show up let's take a look at the vix now the vix still is giving us a little bit of concern here we we did break back down below that 50-day moving average but the vix is kind of a funny thing it doesn't always respect these averages and here's the problem we left behind kind of a hammer pattern so in the morning we said oh we have no fear about um, anything going on in the market but by the end of the day we show that possibility of a little bit of fear and we show that possibility of hold of this price support now that's not going to mean anything at all unless we get follow through to the upside if we get some follow through to the upside meaning that we get a bullish candle that perks up here showing that fear spiking back up that leaves a, a pretty uncertain pattern here on uh, the VIX and could show that coronavirus maybe really does matter and that we may push back higher in a little bit of fear. So let's watch that carefully. One thing I will say is it seems rather odd to me that we're making new record highs and the VIX is remaining elevated here above 30 handles. So that is a bit of a concern and really displays the uncertainty that we may um, honestly be feeling in the market. Let's take a look at uh, T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I always look at that as, as just a simple line chart. And as you can see on T2122, really no directional bias here um, in this. It's not telling us which, which way we might go. We do know that yesterday on the gap up open, we were pushed all the way back up here. But as we could not find follow through buyers and the overall breadth of the market was very, very weak, we pulled that right back here um, in the chart. And as you can see, we, we now are kind of ranging around this mid area, um, which tells us that we still we have an equal opportunity here for a rally back up or um, a sell off back down here toward that bullish reversal zone so let's watch that carefully we know this morning we're getting a gap down it's perhaps um, uh, a, that gap down that could push us down here in this uh, bullish reversal zone uh, for us to keep be keeping an eye on so watch that carefully we'll see how that plays out but t2122 giving us a little bit of a hmm wait and see uh, kind of appearance here and then if we look at t2101 this is one of the things i was going to point out is even as the market was setting new record highs in the nasdaq notice that we didn't see the absolute breadth index um, showing us confidence or showing us a widespread rally what that means is is we had just a rarefied few um, stocks that were doing the majority of the lifting of the indexes yesterday and we couldn't catch that follow through there were no buyers following through after the gap up that is a little bit of a concern so just keep that in mind as you plan your day forward and remember guys that the purpose of these videos is not to predict what's going to happen next in any way shape or form it's just to give you those points of things that you may want to consider as you approach the market for the day and how you may want to be um, setting yourself for that approach so Keep that in mind, no prediction here that we're gonna go up or we're gonna go down. Um, just those little signals out there that there may be a little stress forming here on the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today because we do have some things going on in the economic calendar, but it's actually a very, very light day on the calendar. Let's take a look here. And as you can see, um, um, on this, whoops, this isn't the calendar I wanted. 
This is a calendar, that's a calendar I post in the blog, but not the calendar I wanted for today. And as you can see right in here, we have um, the petroleum status number, and that's really the only major thing that could move us around. We did get uh, mortgage application numbers this morning that showed a tick down, but we, um, um, over last year, we're up 18%, which is really kind of remarkable considering the condition of the overall um, markets and the uncertainty that's out there. But housing applications have risen sharply over the last few months and um, are holding 18% um, up year over year, um, even though we did tick down a little bit this morning. So keep an eye on that petroleum status number. We know that can move us around a little bit. And also keep in mind that we have a couple of Fed speakers here today. So we'll want to watch that. Now tomorrow will probably be the big day. Tomorrow will be the concerning day as we open up. And notice that we have four major reports here before the market opens tomorrow. Durable goods, GDP, international trading goods, and that jobless claims number. Those, those will definitely have the potential of moving the market considerably. So we'll want to consider that as we close down today and roll over into that Thursday trade. There could be an awful lot of data coming our way. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now on our earnings calendar, we've only got 11 companies on the calendar reporting as we're really winding down uh, this quarter. And I gotta tell you, there's really not much in there that I would consider to be very notable um, overall. Um, a couple of things that um, you might want to keep an eye on, like BlackBerry. BlackBerry will be reporting today. Um, keep an eye on that. Um, you may um, see um, WGO may be reporting or will report today. Looks like it's gapping just a little bit lower, but I'm not sure that's particularly notable um, overall. And um, KBH. KBH is one that we might want to uh, keep an eye on this morning, but uh, not the kind of companies that I would expect to really move us around today. So we're going to be pretty subject. Um, we may be a little bit sensitive, I should say, a little bit sensitive to news reports and that news cycle today because there's not a whole lot to fuel the market today um, in those earnings and economic news. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you guys could do me a quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that thumbs up button um, if you believe the video was worthy. Click that bell icon to make sure you're notified every time I post one of these videos. And by the way, I post a daily video um, on the market condition. And um, of course, there's lots of free training videos on the site. I also want to remind everyone, I haven't mentioned this for some time, but if you look just below the title of um, the video every single day there is a link in the description to the morning blog if you want to find out some more information um, come take a look at the blog by clicking that link and following through uh, there. So I want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to leave those brief comments. I truly, truly appreciate it. Clicking those thumbs up buttons, you're responsible for the growth. And I truly understand that. And, and thank you so much um, for all the kind support and kind words that you guys leave behind there. Truly, truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at a few of these stocks that could be setting up. But I got to tell you, it's a little bit spooky here today um, with the market gapping down the way we are. However, I mentioned the fact that there may be a little bit of a rotation into safety plays. Let's take a look at a few of those. One of those that I have been mentioning is GLD. In the last three days, GLD has gapped higher and we are doing it again this morning. A little bit of fear building into this market may be showing a, a rush into some of the precious metals. So you might want to take a look at that. Now, I, I will tell you that I wouldn't want to chase this after three big days of gap up and now a fourth day. I wouldn't want to be chasing into this personally. Um, and I need to disclose that, uh, you know, in, in case, you know, there's some bias on my point part, 
um, that I am holding a position in GLD and have a very uh, beautiful profit in it right now. And I'm going to be a happy camper this morning. But just the idea that we could be seeing a little bit of that rotation to some of those safety plays might be something to be focusing on. And we saw some movement in other gold-related stocks and silver stocks and um, even copper-related stocks yesterday. So you might want to um, take a look at some of those uh, metals, precious metals um, in the charts. Now, SLV, I also hold a position in SLV and it held up pretty well yesterday. We've popped a couple of days here in a row. We did have a hard time holding on to that um, day before yesterday, but yesterday showed a nice little push up and this morning looks like we're going to gap just a tiny little bit lower on silver but silver is one of those metals that has industrial uses as well and sometimes can perform better than gold overall so keep an eye on that chart um, you might want to look at a stock like FCX we saw copper getting a little bit of a lift yesterday and although we're still below our 500 day moving average it certainly perked up yesterday and has that possibility that it could gain a little ground as other metals um, start to move up and if I draw out a trend here notice that what we have done um, in this chart is we've broken the downtrend and then we've proven to hold that downtrend as support and we're trying to rally up out of here. So watch that closely. If it can gain a little steam, there may be that opportunity here in FCX. Now I can't tell you that any of these precious metals will continue in this move. As a matter of fact, I would think that GLD here really, really soon will see some kind of a pullback. So keep that in mind. I'm not suggesting you should rush into that. As a matter of fact, what I would tell you is that anytime I show a stock in these videos, um, it's not meant as a recommendation to buy or sell any security. You have to do your own due diligence and your own evaluation to make sure that trade fits you overall so watch that carefully another place you might be able to look is in some of the defensive sector type stocks what we're seeing here we're seeing stocks like CLX CLX has had an incredible run up and yesterday we caught this little pullback we're pulling back into some support of the chart but if this can hold in here we might want to keep an eye on this chart, if this holds in this area and holds along its trend, um, in the world of Corona land, it might be a possible trade to be uh, paying attention to on this pullback. Um, another chart that um, I was keeping an eye on and pulled back yesterday, KHC. This is one of those stocks that did really, really well during uh, coronavirus. A lot of folks buying up uh, mac and cheese, I guess. Um, trying to uh, keep everybody fed at home. We'll wanna watch this here. We do have that possibility of a failure here as well, but if we can hold this trend, there's still that opportunity that may push on higher. Other places you could look are stocks like EA. EA has been really, really strong. Those gaming stocks uh, during um, this virus outbreak were really, really strong and they're continuing to hold up well. They popped up yesterday and pulled back, but EA looking good. You could look at stocks like TTWO. You could look at um, um, Activision also holding up very, very well, breaking above these resistance levels in the chart and holding up. So keep an eye on some of those kind of stocks to potentially hold up in a market like this. Um, so just a few things to pay attention to, something to watch. Um, be really careful here today. We could see some incredible volatility really through the end of the quarter as um, we've had this historic run and we could see some rebalancing. We could see some shifting back and forth here in the market. So watch this carefully. We could see some volatile days ahead. Um, stay really focused to that price action. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. And um, I want to say, please, please be safe. Protect your family from this um, virus that seems to be 
uh, perking up. So do the wise thing, uh, stay home when you can and protect yourself and your family. Everyone take care, have a great day and we'll talk to you all very, very soon, bright and early Thursday morning.